Hello, I'm Buda Feb, and welcome to episode 23 of my Manchester Central FC series. Um, thanks for joining me, you bunch of legends. It's 2018, can't believe it. Um, hopefully you had a great new year. Um, you're probably back in work, I'm back in work. Pants, man, absolutely pish. Right, today's episode, we're going to be playing Cambridge, who are battling out with us at the top of the league. Massive game, we've got a few games to get through and a little bit of news. I am still smarting, I am still depressed with uh, the last live com. Hopefully today's live com is a bit better, can't wait, yay, let's get going. First game and we bounce back from that shocking defeat to Colchester with uh, a great away victory, 4-1 against Wickham in the AC Milan kit, really really happy with this, um, Brett Dalton scored and well, Brett Dalton scored and Tommy T got an hat trick, a 5 minute hat trick. And in, and in total, all them goals are scored in seven minutes. Four goals in seven minutes. The best seven minutes of my life. Can you believe it? Because I, I couldn't believe it. I rested a lot of players. Six all. Defence. There's no defence. No goalkeepers. They, were, they had a brew. They were off at the canteen. Uh, Tommy T got his second hat trick on a run. Have you seen the stats? Have you seen the goals? craziest game ever and I rested most of my players for this game I didn't think we'd win and we didn't we got beat 2-0 um, and I mean Tommy T has gone from hat trick to hat trick to a 5.9 average rating but um, they're a class above championship team big club dominated us on the ball with chances as well um, but even though stat wise it looks awful especially with McDonnell as well I don't think we did that bad it felt like we'd least Put up a good showing. You know what? They cheered me right up. We went away to Morecambe uh, and beat him 3-1. Brilliant game. Brett Dalton that trick. He's still got it in his locker, hasn't he? The Daltmeister still got it in his locker. So yeah, great three points. And then the last game off camera, I played Swindon at home, beat him 1-0. Bit of a ball fest. Foreman did well. Third play to him. Got one of the match. He scored. <laughs> But apart from that, yeah, it's one to forget, but I'll, I'll, like I've said this a million times, I'll take one nils all day long. Right, one thing, obviously, transfer windows open again, um, and I've got some very good young players. Calm Landale last year got his head turned, and this year, as soon as the window opened, we got peppered, peppered, peppered. I've had bids in for everyone. I'm going to show you just a couple of them in the background. Lewis Foreman and Lynchy, I think we've had bids for Agbo, um, Moran, uh, Jakey Bird as well. And everyone's been sound, to be fair, apart from Agbo came to me. And this is a new thing I've seen, and I think it's quite cool. Agbo came to me like, why didn't you let me talk to Scunthorpe, who, whoever it was. It was someone crap, right? And you get an option now where you can say, look, you're, you're part of a great social group. You've got a great bond with these players. Some along them lines. And he's like, yeah, you're right. Why would I want to leave those guys behind? And that's it. Forgot about. I like that a lot. It's quite cool. Right, I saw my friend do this on a season review, Football Manager Zone. Um, I don't always look into the stats, I'll be honest with you. I, try to, I don't really pay much attention to stuff. I just keep trying to play and keep trying to win. Um, but it made me intrigued to know how much I'm paying the salary because last year we were non-league. And when we went to the Football League, a lot of people got pay rises. And then obviously I gave everyone new contracts, doubled, quadrupled some of them. But I didn't think I'd be this high up. I thought I was doing quite well. And these are the finances we've got. Uh, 1.8 million in the bank. As you know from previous episodes, though, we've got um, money going to be going out, I think, because we're getting the training ground improved. Uh, I think we're, we're also upgrading the stadium, putting in 7,000 seats, was it? Can't remember off the top of my head. So, but we're still in a great place financially. I've hardly spent a penny until now. Here's the transfer history. Uh, and you'll know these are familiar. Colm Landy went for a quarter of a mil. Uh, Solid Hill Moore came in for three of my old boys. Now, this guy here, Charlton came in for once. I couldn't say no to this. He's alright. He's 21. He had a bit of promise. I brought him in last year. He played a few games and I, I forgot I had him. He kept more. I forgot about him. Charlton came in for him. I'm like, who'd they come in for? I, didn't even, I forgot. 
Like, who are they offering money for? Why, why am I seeing this? Oh, that is one of my players. So yeah, he's going out to Charlton. So that money, it's not a lot of money, but it's helped me get two people I've been personally scouting. One is a lad I showed you in the last episode. Quendrim, how can I say that? How am I going to say that? I bet you can't even say his second name. What am I going to call him? X he what the hell is that? It's from Kosovo. I need a nickname. Help me out. I know you don't always comment. Help me out with a nickname. And then Russell Swift, someone I, I won't really attend it to buy. But again, he's 18 years old. I spent a similar amount of money on him. He's not worth loads of money. But look how much he's got decent attributes for this level as an 18 year old. Got a bit of promise as well, so I don't think I really need a central midfielder, not yet. I, don't th I just couldn't pass him up because too many clubs were sniffing around him. Well, after all, I just realised we're going to look at the league, haven't we? Uh, we're still at the top, just by about three points. And we did actually drop down to third. Um, and then the last two games we've won has helped us out again. We've gone back up. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Tommy T is still second in the goal scoring charts. Danny Rose is top, who plays for Cambridge, who we're playing today. So this could be a right goal first, hopefully. Dean Moran's still the best player in the league. Brett Dalton's on the assist chart there. Look at Brett. Beast. So, today's uh, game is against Cambridge United. Away from home at the Cam's Glass Stadium. Holds about 8,500. They've got Gary Caldwell. I talked about him recently, didn't I? Saw him in Manchester a while back. Uh, Ex-Wigan manager. He's been Chesterfield manager. He's now Cambridge manager. Gary Caldwell. 37. I thought he was about 45. Right, so here's the match preview. Um, apparently they're still inconsistent, which is probably fair enough. But we're still top of the league. We've only lost three games. We've drawn a lot more than a lot of the teams around us. The next team that's drawn anywhere near us is Colchester in seventh. Um, but, you know, we are hard to beat, really. Got some good players, and when they all play to the best, we are unstoppable. Um, we are favourites as well today, so pressure's on. Right, here's the team lineups. Now straight away, I'm giving the two new boys uh, debuts. Not because I really wanted to. Agbo just because he kind of miffed me off a bit. Even though he's kind of happy, he's not. So I thought, sack it. Let's show him. I've got a new kid, and you you might be threatening me. Um, but this new kid might take your place. Uh, so I'm quite excited about that. Swifty is also playing as well because uh, Foreman is suspended. Gutted as I need Foreman's a beast at 16. He's best player ever. Uh, Jakey Bird is fit, 90 and 90 on his conditioning, um, but he's still carrying a knock. So, I'm have to change that later on. Let's do this. Right, so, let's have a chat with the lads. Now, I'm going to be assertive. I'm not going to demand them to win. I'm not going to be that stupid. Let's see, what's this all about? Cambridge coming to this one, seventh in, in the farm table, while we're third. <sighs> Do you know what? No. We've got other options down there, have we? We've got other options? Yeah. Right. We are the favourites, so go out there and give the fans a performance. Oh, dang. I'll, I'm good for that. I get bored with this sometimes. When I play my own, I can't even be bothered with it. I'll be honest with you. Does my head in? Do this. You know, I love the white kit with our beautiful red socks. What can the new boys put in a performance? Right, Swifty first touch to his new mate. Um, I can't say that name. What am I going to call him? Oh, he's trying to try, Bob. Cheeky. Yeah, I have no idea what I can call this kid. I'll be honest with you. X, X, Big X, X Man. It's just not good. It's not a good name. I can't even imagine how you pronounce that. I mean, unless you're Kosovan. I bet it's rocking really hard. Look at this. Great ball from Swifty to Moran. Can Moran finish it? No, he can't. So, yeah, nearly 10 minutes in. Um, and we've had it in the ball apparently, 39% of it. But I've not seen a highlight from Cambridge. That Jakey Bird, you see there, that's his injury. Can't remember what it is. It should be fully fit in two days. Um, let's just hope he doesn't cripple himself because we need him in this running. We definitely need him. I had a great comment off a subscriber who said he's just been binge watched my entire se uh, series recently and he thinks Jakey Bird's an unsung hero. Of course. And he is, he's been fantastic. Oh lads, come on, I want to see more, we've both had five chances each, we're edging it now a bit with a ball, got me lucky hat on, this is the first hat I bought a couple of years ago now, um, started me off wanting to collect hats, and now I've got about 80, right come on boys, here's Tommy T, Tommy T, oh well done, 
redeemed himself, give it to Moran, but Moran's struggling on one on ones. He's been struggling on one on ones. Corner ball, come on, lads. It's Jakey Bird taking it, it is. I want to go in and want to score a couple. It'd be great if I could, then I could rest Bird it. Oh, has that gone in? Get in! Bit of a funny angle, but I'll take that. But I don't always watch the replays anymore because it's extra editing and try to keep the episode short. Well, that's decent. I thought we'd watch it at a different angle just so you could see what was going on. Right, we're approaching the end of the first half and it's rapidly moving. I'll take that. Going, winning. I'll be happy. I can't lie. Uh, I just want to win this live comp and keep on rocking because this season has been... It's not felt like we've running away with the league even though we spent most of the league at the top. So, it's half time. Uh, Tommy T has scored a shot from outside the box. Took a bit of a deflection but he's definitely claiming it. Um, let's have a look. Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers are getting beat. That is decent. Hopefully that stays that way. And Swindon at the other team. Swindon are drawing. Hopefully it could be a good day for us here. Do I bring off Jakey? I mean, he's fit enough, isn't he? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. I think I'll keep it on for a bit longer. Um, let's just be calm. And I'm going to say, I'm happy performance. Keep it up. Not day. Let's go, that green. Let Carl Lord have a say. End team talk. Come on, boys. Cambridge kick off the second half here with their pink ball. Someone laughed. The unflushable. One of my favourite subscribers uh, laughed at my pink ball. What's wrong with pink? It's better than yellow. I think you can see. I think you can see the pink ball better. I like pink. I always have my goalkeepers wearing pink as well. Uh, here's Cambridge. Can they get themselves back into it? Not with balls like that. Corker defends well. Heads it to McDonald. Swift's going to pick this up. Swift seems to be doing a decent job. Not seen much from the new lad on the right though, yeah, we? Right, and here he is actually. So I'm not seeing him. Pass back. What's he get forward, kid? He's got a bit of pace about him. Um, Jones to Neville. Neville. Do you remember Gary Neville's dad? I think he's dead now, isn't he? He was called Neville Neville. Why, why would you do that? My family name, my surname, is Graham. Let me call my son Graham. Here's Tommy T, one on one. Get in. Get in, Tommy T. Tommy T, I'll never. It's just one of them purchases. You, 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 he's not come from my academy. He's at AFC Telford. When the scout said he might have a bit of promise, he looks alright. He could finish. We've signed him. And he's just blown me away. I love signings like that. I love random signings of people you never think are going to be any good. And then they just become great, you know. And he's great at this level. Fantastic. We'll be interested to see anyone. Where Cambridge come on the attack. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's beautiful. What a lovely finish. That was like Eric Cantona, wasn't it? Eric Cantona esque. I'll give him that one. I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted by Cambridge's good goal was actually, let's pause it. I was trying to say it'd be good as I go through the leagues. Um, concentrate, lads. Unlike me. It'd be good to see if any of these guys can come with me. If you get to the Premier League, I'd love one of these lads to come with me. The other younger lads, four men or someone. I've let a lot of leads go, I tell you. That 6-6 six, six game, wow. Imagine I've done that as a live comp, 6-6. Six, six. Swift is off here, isn't he? You get a red card in your debut, isn't he? And I've got Jakey Bird on his own in the middle and he's not fully fit. Oh, God's sake. Finley on for Moran. Bird it, you're going to have to play the whole game. You're going to play in that defensive midfield position. -y. Let's go as a... What's going on here? Get back here. Right. Ball winner, no. I don't want you as a ball winner. Yeah, you're going to be a ball winner. That's what I want you to do. Um, Tommy T, I'm going to put you there. We're not going to play with any striker. And I'm going to replace Tommy T with Brett Dalton. Go strikerless, man. Let's do the schnizzle. Right, I'm going to make one more change. Agbo, let's bring him on for this other new kid. He hasn't really done much. Right, Cambridge on the attack here. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh my God, that was wow. Wow. What a good way to grab something. Right, come on, Lynch. Can we score? Can we put the game to bed in the dying seconds? No, it's full time. We've won. I'll take that all freaking day long. We were expected to win and we did it. I don't think we should have really. I think it probably should have been a draw. Right, here we are in the changing rooms at Cambridge. You have been to Cambridge? I thought it was going to be a lot posher than it was. Um, right, assertive. I'm going to say well done. Was that a good win? That was a let off. That was a bit of a let off it was, wasn't it? Yeah, who's Corker? Corker's alright. Fanny. Happy days. We're still top of the league. Where did Swindon? Swindon drew. That's awesome. Bristol Rovers got beat. Oh, it's been a great day. 
It's been a great day. A couple of games ago, I was worried because we were third and we, we'd not picked any point. Picked up one point out of six. Now we've won three games back to back. Straight away, as soon as I look at the schedule, there's one game there shouting out to me uh, that I think we have to do. We have to play. We're going to play Mansfield at home, Ebbsfleet, Torquay, Notts County, Gillingham, Lincoln, Crew, and then we'll come back for episode 24. And we'll play Bristol Rovers because they're up there with us. At our place. Massive game. So there you go, another fantastic episode of my Manchester Central series. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Check out all my other content. And um, hopefully, we did have a great new year. You know, join me for the next one. It's getting exciting. Can we get out of this league? Let me know, actually. What do you think? Can we get out of this league? Are we going to win the title? Are we going up? I think so. What do you think? I've been booed. You've been absolutely amazing. I'll see you next time.